come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Voting. The movie oh, sure. and talk show <laughs> podcast that you can vote on. It comes your way <laughs> every Saturday. How do you vote? You like and subscribe. That's a yes vote. That's absolutely true because all that stuff helps us get found mm-hmm. by other folks like you. We're talking about voting a lot tonight. I don't know. We why. are. Why? It's because tonight, today, right now, when you're listening to this, hopefully, <laughs> when you're listening to this, if you're not listening to this in the future, while the episode is current, you can head on over to our social media channels and vote for your favorite movies of on a list of movies that you submitted, <laughs> and we'll watch the top four vote getters mm. in the month of January is, 2023. Is this is the Saturday Night Freak Show Rock the Vote campaign right here. Yes, oh. this is yep, it. Vote or vote die. die. Vote yeah. or die. Diddy. You've got yep. one week, seven days from Saturday. That'd be what, uh, I'm not even sure what day it is, but uh, I mean, None of us aside are. from the you know Saturday. The future the date, us will I mean. figure it out. That's a problem for future yeah. freak show hosts. <laughs> That's right. But so we you, are in the future right now, Michaela. I can only handle one day at a time. Yep. <laughs> so thank you for submitting. I'm going to keep that can down the road. <laughs> thank you for submitting your suggestions. Well, yes, some of you. you. <laughs> future yeah. Michaela's like, ow, who kicked a can at <laughs> <of> me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we want to tell people how they can find this amazing voting experience on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can't vote by email, you but email. you could email us about other things at Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. I mean, they You could. can't vote on the Instagram either, but we'll try and if you click the link in the bio. Okay. Yeah. Can they vote on Twitter? No, but the, the, right. the link will be there. Okay, gotcha. Just, Just follow the, the links. No, follow, follow the links. links. Yeah. Uh, these... Are the internet radio superstars Sean, Michaela, Holly, and I'm Colin? <laughs> I was like, did I Keep do it wrong? Like, <laughs> I'm, keeping I'm like, I thought I had everything nailed down right there. <laughs> she was going to be Holly for a minute. For a minute. Yeah. Yeah. She had to be like, yeah. wait, who am I? Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, no. <laughs> it does happen. Why Sometimes always, you uh, think you're Holly. Why, why does everyone think it's just me? a rhythm? It's just know. a rhythm to it. Yeah. Um, Before we go any further. Oh, uh, the freak show had a very important milestone. That's that we right. Were oh, yes. Holy so shit, this year we celebrated our 500th episode. We but sure as did. of this week, the freak show has been on the air for 10 years. 10 damn fucking so, years. And we have to. I have to say thank you, Colin, yes, for starting Colin. this 10 years thank ago. You. You're the only person who's this been is, on it through the this is entire 10 years. Oh, this is, yeah. committed a murder. So the whole cheers, time. Colin. <laughs> cheers. Oh, thank Got you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers. We're cheersing. We're cheersing. Well, thank you very much. Because without you, Colin, we wouldn't all be sitting here. So thank you. Well, and the same celebration in March to our captain. There you go. As Sean celebrates his 10 years, and thank you, the the folks out there who have listened to us all. This time, Dom. Uh, yeah. I think Dom actually reminded us that it was our mm-hmm. ten uh, yeah. ten year. Uh, so thank you guys all very much, sincerely, uh, and everybody us. here at the table. This mm-hmm. is uh, yeah. this is a great thing that we do every week. Yes. Uh, we're doing it just for fun. We're glad that you're also listening in on it. <laughs> no money get- involved whatsoever, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we get to see some wild and crazy movies. I have yeah. learned so much. This is a good uh, pick for 10 year week because it feels like I've been watching this type of movie for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, like, and I, and I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, we, uh-huh. and we're still going. No like, complaints. We haven't- I was gonna say no repeats. But it's like repeats. ten years, and we still find these gems. Yeah, I know. Yep. Yeah, there's so many more out there to find. So yeah, we call this them gems, week. unless they have a samurai in it, then it's just like, oh, why'd you bring this, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> well, who chose tonight's movie? Holly, me. And what'd you bring? I brought a movie called "To All a Good Night." You had to look I down to and look see what that title at was. My notes. Yeah. <laughs> keep wanting to say "Don't open till Christmas," and I'm like, "Nope." I we keep did wanting to say it all through the house. Wait, it's just yeah. weird. Say it again. Um, like, to all a good to night. all a good night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, okay, from the year. Uh, um, ni- well, that's subjective. <laughs> okay. Um, 1970, 1980. I mean, 1979 or 1980. That's I was sorry. Saying, that's a big gap. <laughs> I know. Sorry. <laughs> 1979 to 1980. It just depends on who you ask. <laughs> 1980. We'll go with 1980. 1980. Okay. And directed by? David Hess. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So when I saw his name on this, I'm like, what? what, what?" Kyle couldn't believe it. Yeah. So this is uh, first directorial (laughs) effort by David Hess? I also want to point out that no one had heard of this movie. No. I brought 
I brought a brand new movie. Yeah. And this, <laughs> never this never happens. This like, never happens. As a student of slasher films, I thought I had seen, the, well, at least uh, if I haven't seen them all, I'm aware of them all. Right. Mm-hmm. And this one, I had no idea. And then you find out it's directed by David Hess. <laughs> okay, so David Hess. I was going to say, what do we know David Hess from? <laughs> so... David Hess. Read the um, entire interview at the back of that. I know. I, I printed out. I, Colin, you were upstairs. But the back three pages of what I've got here is I printed out an entire interview with him about this movie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You found that? Okay. I, I appreciate did. your due diligence. Thank this you. is awesome because I have many questions. Okay. It's the first question. What gives you the right? Yeah. Who do you think you <laughs> are? Who do you think you are? David well, Hess. David Hess is, uh, you'll know him as an actor because he played Krug in Wes Craven's Last House. Last on House on the Left. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But we have seen him on this show because he was in Wes Craven's Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Yep. He was uh, the villain. Yeah. Oh. Not oh, Louis wow. Jordan, but he the, was yeah. the other guy. And um, But he started his career as a songwriter. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. He wrote, he, <laughs> I mean, this he, movie kind no, of felt yeah. like a song, didn't it? Mm. He did the original version of All Shook Up. That was really? uh, eventually done by Elvis. Wow. Yeah. Like, How old is this guy? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like a vam- eternal Love vampire, he apparently. He died in... Uh, he, died, he died not that long ago. Yeah, it was 20... Uh, no, 2021? 20, 2021, yeah. 20, oh, wow. Yeah, just yeah he just died. Yeah. Yeah, well, he also was a... But his movie career was, died many years before. <laughs> but he, well, yeah, he did... He did. Uh, he composed for several horror movies, too. Some recent ones. Yeah, because he has a song in Last House on the Left, mm-hmm. and that was reused. Eli Roth reused it yep. in uh, Cabin Fever. Mm-hmm. Um, but as a songwriter, he wrote songs for Elvis Presley. Yeah. That's awesome. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Before, I think he was typecast as like the just uh, movie bad guy. I mean, like everything I remember, like, I mean, when you've seen Last House on the Left. Yeah, you can't undo that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And There's I no think forgetting that. Because then he was in uh, Ruggiero Deodato's mm-hmm. uh, House on the Edge of the Park, mm-hmm. where he's basically kind of mm-hmm. also playing Same the heavy kind of like, character. Swamp Thing is probably like the mildest version of him yeah. that you'll see. I mean, I hear that he was like a nice guy, but. His yeah. screen persona is like terrifying, you know, at yeah. least, you know, in those. It's memorable. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he looks, he's memorable. Yes, mm-hmm. he is. Yeah, you remember he was in, uh, in Swap Thing that we watched on uh, on the show. Okay. Barely. <clears throat> the hair. The hair is never changing. Yeah. He has a, so, a fro. David Hess, director. This, I also, I had no idea. <laughs> is this the only <laughs> thing he's directed? And the um, only thing worth mentioning, I, maybe I should ask. Yeah, he hasn't really directed okay. um, anything else, really. I don't see why. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the interview <laughs> with him, I mean, like, what? Oh, well, first mm-hmm. of all, I guess, is there any uh, uh, little factoids about his uh, pre West, before he m- what, met Wes Craven? Uh, is there <laughs> any uh, other things of note there that would would stand out otherwise that was like the big moment in his you know professional career i assume was being cast in the movie that uh you had to tell yourself it's only a movie <laughs> only a movie only a movie nobody saw this trailer oh no, yeah oh okay. yeah uh, <laughs> i i had both of those movies uh, like on blu-ray and not that long ago i was like why do i own these i don't think i'll ever rewatch them yeah. you know like last house I think is the, a pretty grim I oh think, and how, yeah. uh, house on the edge of the park mm-hmm. i've yeah. never seen that one yeah though. he was an uncredited voice in cold sweat in 1970 <laughs> <laughs> cold sweat what's his name from oh, that guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, charles bronson charles bronson yes. uh, nice so he gets around David Hess. The Swiss mm-hmm. compir- Conspiracy. 21 Hours in Munich. This is him as an actor. Mm-hmm. Beretta. Avalanche Express. Beretta, the TV show with Robert Blake? Yes. Okay. And then probably a lot of TV and stuff like that. Avalanche right? Express feels like a uh, <clears throat> uh, hard ticket to Hawaii type situation. Yeah, it does. But from the 70s, most yes. mm-hmm. okay. 79, House on the Edge of the Park. Jacqueline Suzanne's Valley of the Dolls, Swamp Thing. There we go. Knight Rider. One, <laughs> one episode of Knight Rider. One episode of Manimal. 
Oh yeah, oh, Manimal. Wow. Gotta love Manimal. Simon McCorkendale turned into a leopard. It's a great name. Or McCorkendale. McCorkendale. Yes. Yeah, oh, that's a great name. He was the shark hunter in Jaws 3D, but he turned into uh, he could turn into oh, a panther right. or a hawk. <laughs> what? Or a snake? And this was a TV show. Yes. Yeah. I need to watch this. Remember, like American Werewolf in London, it won the Oscar. I think it was like five so years. So what if he could be any animal? Things? Yes. Yeah. He was, like, he was a manimal. Wasn't there a cartoon? Was it Brave Star that he could? Yes, that he could change Probably into different a animals. Rip off of manimal. Probably. Oh, <laughs> we should be. Helen's off so of defensive of manimal. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, now that I say it aloud, Brave Star was probably racist. <laughs> probably. Mm-hmm. But anyway, eighteen. So but, yeah, let's get hairy. He starts making a movie, or he's directing it. Somehow, he ended up. I mean, I suppose you're a horror guy, right? You're known for horror films, so you're going to do. You know, you want to direct. Fine. Mm-hmm. Horror movie. Yeah, he he had always wanted to direct, and a friend don't of, they all? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. A friend of his um was was uh producing like four indie horror movies and asked if he wanted to direct one of them. Four, he, uh, four at once. <laughs> and he needed a, a quick buck. So. Okay. I well, wish somebody would ask yeah. me to direct a movie for a quick buck. Right? Yeah. You gotta be in the industry. You gotta know people. You gotta be at those mover and shaker parties. Well, quick buck is being generous. No one got paid for this movie. Because uh, <laughs> it didn't make any money because no one went to see yeah, Because no it never got released no anywhere. No back end probably. points for this yeah. movie. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> who's in this movie? People. <laughs> All right. A bunch of um, regular Joes. Yeah. Jennifer Runyon. Is it a star? Is okay. In this movie. Jennifer Runyon's in this movie. Yes. And everybody's like, who the hell is she? But Holly knows who she is. I do know who she is. She was the student at the beginning of Ghostbusters that was doing the uh, psychic testing with Vankman. Yeah. Yeah. I know. But this was her first movie. This was her first movie. Right. Yes. But according to MF Mad, what? the yep. keeper of the Saturday yep. Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, we are now putting oh, wow. Jennifer Runyon on the <laughs> wow. wall yes, we are. of fame. That's right. So should be a little bit of applause. Uh, <laughs> I she think was, she might get the hallway. But. She was in uh, To All a Good Night, mm-hmm. this movie that we watched tonight, uh, Ghostbusters, mm. and she was also in Carnosaur. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's oh, no. Carnosaur. That's Great a career. throwback. Carnosaur. Yeah. About Carnosaur. Um... Okay, so I guess we have established uh, that this is a slasher film. Um, there's only so many. It oh, feels should, we like- talk, should we also mention the biggest star of this movie, who is um, credited as Dan Stryker? <laughs> oh, right. But you may know him as Harry Reams. <laughs> Right, right. Harry Reeves is in this movie. Well, yeah. he's briefly, he has a couple of scenes. I should have known from that mustache. <laughs> yeah. Should have known. That is a porn stash. That is a yeah. porn stash. Yeah. You made him from Deep Throat. <laughs> yeah. Love it. What I an mean, icon. That was, but that, that's the thing. I mean, Deep Throat was such a, like, a, a, a cultural a, event. Yeah, that because was, it became, well, they, it was like it was, the mainstream porn, right? Yeah. Mainstream like, porn. The. Yeah. It yeah. was the movie. Like, mothers saw that movie. <laughs> yeah. That. That's right. I, I, I think I, people were confused and thought it actually had some sort of political relevance. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because I think it was like a anti-establishment like stance to to go see a dirty movie yeah. in, a, in a movie theater. But yeah, people went to see like uh, you know your mom and dad went to see Deep Throat. Yeah, yeah. In the my movie dad theater. ever tried to convince my mom? It's almost like it got like fake Oscar buzz, right? Like that's yeah. kind of like the effect it had. Like pe- so people were talking about it so much, everyone had to go see it to see what people were talking about. Yes. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's a really, really bad yeah, movie. It's like, real bad. It's real bad. Yeah. It was like made uh, for five bucks mm-hmm. or something. And it looks by like the mob, it. I think, right? No, yeah, yeah. Like the it, story yeah. around it is more interesting than the movie. Right. Yeah, because they Personally. did uh, Inside Deep Throat, I think, was yeah. the documentary. Yeah. Yes, I remember done. watching that and whoever mm-hmm. the director, um, whoever the director for that was. Interesting guy. Of the. Of Deep Throat. Okay, I'm not, I can't remember now what his name was, but I, no, his I name is also or legendary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but then. Was uh, it Jeff Butts? Because <laughs> there's someone by that name in this movie. Is he also a porn actor? <laughs> yeah. He's got to be. <laughs> With a name like Jeff Butts. Yeah. <laughs> Who did Jeff Butts F's? play in this movie? How many F's in Blake? Jeff Butts? He played Blake. I yeah. don't remember. He's probably one yeah, of the me. cops. Yeah, I don't know which one that was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Don't ask me to name many people no, in this movie. I, I got. Just, Alex. I was going by hairstyle yeah. mostly. Yeah. <laughs> Alex Curly was, hair. Alex was played by someone named Forrest Swanson, who was dating Makes Jennifer sense. Runyon at the at the time. 
Uh, Wait, so Alex is? Oh, he's the 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 Poindexter. Yes. I don't know what else he. Well, he started out as the Poindexter turned right. stud. Yeah, yeah, he started out as a dweeb. <laughs> he's slapping he's women and telling him to, to snap out of it by the end of this. Movie. Yeah, he, he goes into Stefania Urkel he, mode. He, he really yeah, does without yeah. the machine. He has a full. He even Look, takes I'm the glasses full off. Yeah. He's got a full arc in this movie. <laughs> a full sexual arc. <laughs> well, uh, there's a lot he of... He becomes a man in this it, movie. Yeah. He does. He really does. <laughs> is it a sexy movie? It wants to be. Uh, it wants to be. It, it does. There's some sexiness in here. I mean, it's an 80s slasher movie, and it has some kind of like porn connection, obviously, with the people who are mm-hmm. involved in it. But I mean, I saw a lot of other people involved in it because uh, Joel Soison... Uh, the story writer, a screenplay author for the Deathless 1986 heavy metal horror classic, Trick or Treat, which I think I said I would never mention again, but it wasn't my <laughs> fault. He was a boom operator <laughs> on this movie. No, uh, because operator. we always talk about the boom operator. The boom <laughs> operator, yeah. And uh, uh, Brian Englund, the photog- uh, cinematographer of I Mad Man, the movie that we did nice. on this yes. show, mm-hmm. and also Freddy's Dead and several other Horror movies was the second unit cameraman. So there you go. That's why you're tuning into the Saturday second Night Freak Show. All the connections. <laughs> <laughs> to get all of this. Um, I hope the second unit cameraman heard that. There you go. That's He's right. Like, We're giving finally. a special, <laughs> special shout out. Um, all Christmas, we hear is him dying. Oh, <laughs> but Christmas slasher movies, right? Like every, uh, like yeah. Holly, you may have this actually Holly's started like, something here because yeah. I assume it's just going to go from the Saturday Night Freak Show, then it's going to blow up, right? I hope so. We <clears> have <throat> this power. It's yeah. happened many yeah, times. That's right. Like, because I think Don't I'll Open Till Christmas, which we covered on this show, is finally getting some mm-hmm. kind of yep. restored release. We had to watch it on YouTube, but yep. now you're actually going to be able to see it. Um, so there's not a whole lot of them. No. Christmas there seems to be more and more. Movies. Holly will find and one for not, next year. I will find one. There's not a whole lot of them, and there's an even less good ones. There's a lot of bad ones. Mm-hmm. Like, they just seem to not get very creative with the idea. It seems like it's always a killer Santa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's, we elves? need to step out of that. Yeah. Reindeer. There is a movie called Elves. Yep. Mm-hmm. They've yeah. done it. But I mean, like, they don't killer feel reindeer? like... When they come out on uh, direct like to video, Santa or... sharpens up the antlers well, of his reindeer so he can stab people. Why yeah, not right? give us like a spooky ghost story in like a Christmas mansion? You know what I'm saying? Like give us like a gothic yeah, but the, ghost. The BBC movie, but it's does Christmas that every time. year. Uh, We're just not they? English. Yeah, they have, they have Christmas Eve ghost stories, and the BBC is I was like, like, are a, you no, talking about a, a Christmas Carol? Yeah, I, but I mean, I mean like an R-rated like spooky ghost story movie, but it's yeah. at Christmas time in a mansion. That's what I, I would like. We, haunting we, of we, Hill House, but it's Christmas. I would love like a super creepy, detailed, like gothic version of A Christmas Carol. Yeah. Like super, super creepy. With the kids under his coat and yeah. everything. Yeah. You ever seen that George C. Scott one? I have. That's not. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good, good one. It's that's close. My, it's good. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's probably my favorite one. Mm-hmm. But okay. I want like a real. Yeah. Get real it? grotesque with it. Yeah. yeah. That'd be awesome. Can you imagine Del Toro's Christmas Carol? Yeah, exactly. Like that's what I want. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of like a spooky Christmas yeah. haunted house movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I love uh, a Christmas Carol. Well, Christmas there's not a whole lot of those uh, uh, Christmas horror movies. Well, I mean, I guess there are now, but classic yeah. Christmas horror movies, right? And you have uncovered one have. Uh, tonight, which yeah. does feature a killer Santa Claus before Silent Night, Deadly Night, which Isn't is the nice? Mount Everest of killer Santa movies, mm-hmm. probably. Okay, I know we have one in theaters right now as we're yeah. we do. recording this. Or is he a killer Santa? I don't know. No, Violent Night. It's it's an action movie. Yeah. We did Santa's Slay on this show and we Don't did. Open Till Christmas, mm-hmm. which was about Santa a Slay. killer of Santa's, which mm-hmm. I kind of like the reversal on Santa that. Slay killed a member of this show. Santa Slay <laughs> redefined the freak show. It really did. It was like Jack Frost and Santa Slay. Mm-hmm. Too much. And then, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. that would push many people to their breaking point. That was back to back. Um. So... <laughs> this is a slasher movie that uh, starts off with, I mean, because I guess, you know, uh, having just watched the movie, uh, it's going to be hard to kind of okay. recap no, this one. No, we got this. Okay, yeah, we, got we got it. This. So a slasher it movie. It happens real quick. Right, it has to have an inciting incident. Right. This is it part opens of the formula. two years ago. Usually in the past. <laughs> <laughs> no it matter says, what time. Christmas vacation two years ago. Two years yeah. ago. Did it say two years ago or two years prior? Two years ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, where, where? Yeah, there's something there's something fancy about it. Uh, we're at a finishing school, is that right? Or yep. College? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. yeah uh, uh, the school for girls. Finishing school finishing. for this girls. Is like the okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. House, yeah, where right? they get you know where girls go to get put together and completed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always like that. How the finishing school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, finishing this school, is where yeah. you get the manners and stuff before they turn yeah. you loose. In the I don't world know if they else. still had finishing schools in the 80s. I bet they did. I bet they did. 
I saw the movie. It had to finish right. school. There was a sign. And no, everything. If, <laughs> I mean, no, we know the writing of this movie is very accurate. So. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, who's legit. the screenwriter? Who are we blaming for this? Um, <laughs> I just realized I didn't write down the name. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that <laughs> guy it was written by some guy, yeah. and we're not sure what I else put he other did. things he did, but I forgot to write his name. What else did he do? Uh, Beyond the Door, Demented, oh, really? Terror on Tour, Nowhere to Hide. Terror on Tour, it sounds like it's right up Collins Alley. Terror yeah. on Tour yeah. uh, starred a guy oh, that Alex I Rebar. knew. Alex Rebar, thank you. Okay, yes. yeah. Yeah, Another yeah, yeah. heavy metal horror movie. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Demented. I remember that one. Is Demented, am I thinking, of, is that the one um, with Robert's Blossom? Is that the Bob Clark? No. Is it? Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's Terror on Tour. Okay. I used to know a guy. Colin, how have you not brought It looks like I know a guy the clown from Metalocalypse as a band. <laughs> that is a bunch of clown minds. Dr. Raxo, yeah. You well, know back it. when I saw it, it was on VHS, and it didn't look very good, but I know it has been uh, re- uh, I can't believe that's a real movie. Remastered. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think it's it was, literally clowns. There's a kiss in spirit. It, well, yeah, a rock band thing, called right? The Clowns yeah, but they comes have under the suspicion noses. of murder when several prostitutes are killed by individuals made up. Like members of the band. Okay, so put yeah. that. On they think they're list. killing prostitutes specifically, huh? <laughs> yep. Wow. Okay. Um, I want to read a quote from the interview. Uh, David has talking about working with Rebar. He said, "Working with Rebar was like working with a would-be studio head. He envisioned himself as the head of MGM, and that's the way he behaved. Other than that, he was a pretty good guy." <laughs> uh-huh. Is it my words? My words are my art, and they're, you can't change them. And yeah, um, this guy. Uh, Rebar, writer, yeah. right? We're going to say, I think Sean said it best while we were watching the movie. It's threadbare, and it's still barely there. Mm. It's, it's threadbare, but there's but there's so much of it. There's so much oh. of the bare thread. <laughs> yeah. it's just, it, but it's all unspooled on the floor. Like, this metaphor can keep going, but yeah. it's, just, it's just a it's a lot. When these people speak, it sounds like they're missing keywords from a conversation. Like, it sounds like yeah. words were cut out to yeah. make it nonsensical. Well, like, yeah. like I was saying when we were watching it, it sounds like this entire movie is a bunch of inside jokes that we're not in on. It does. Yeah, because they're laughing at stuff that I'm like, what? was that a joke? Yeah. Right, like, I know it's and English. And they're doing, like, impressions yeah. that make no sense. Of people we don't know. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, it. Yeah, because I don't even know that's uh, like, you know, sometimes the it's structure because is of so the weird. time it takes place. But yeah, this is like, are the actors making stuff up, you know? And it made it me feel like, like I was a, having a stroke. I don't time. think they have the talent to do so, to make them. I don't up. know. I feel like these are stage actors. That, they, have, they have theater kid energy. Yeah. They yeah, all Leah, do. All right. Leah feels like they would just let her run. Leah those. definitely yeah. does. The other ones don't look like they could uh, deliver a pizza. Like, <laughs> uh, just. When the. um. The scene in the kitchen when that weird woman comes in and starts like stealing pepper shakers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah, woman yeah. with the cannolis. Oh my god, that's like that's Mrs. Brick of okay, yeah, yeah. That's David Hess's sister. Oh, okay. and she apparently like had a lot of stage experience, which is why she's so like over the touch top. and touching everything. She can't do a scene without touching eight things she's, while she's talking. Yeah. She's eating scraps off of plates. She's and she's to, touching the plates. She and, knows that like old actors, like uh, you know, thing like if you want to steal a scene, right? You got to have a lot of business. You yeah, know, yep. you just don't go in and say the lines. You got to have a lot of. But she gave off the energy of the house mother from. Uh, Black Christmas, yeah. which yeah. I was reminded of a little bit while yeah. watching this movie. Just a tad. Because why? Well, we're in a very large, um, oh, what's the name for those type of houses? Sorority uh, house. No, it's the style of house. But yes, it's a very large sorority house uh, in Florida, surrounded by palm trees, in the dead of night. Always <laughs> the dead of night. No matter what you see on screen, it's the dead of it's night. It's kind of a Tudor house. Tudor, but it's that's like what I was looking for. A... Feels like a Tudor house, kind of. Yeah, but it's more like. But it's bigger. It does feel like a school in its size. Facade like. Yeah. yeah. It, okay. Because we yeah. see the same yeah. one picture of the front a million times. Yeah, I don't know it's that like that's. It's someone trying to build a Tudor house who's not an architect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes I mean, that's, we, that's like how this movie is. Someone trying, trying to, to do something. Movie, yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah. knowing not how to do it. Yeah. And we did establish this was uh, Santa Santa Barbara it was filmed in. Santa yeah. Barbara. Sorry, yes. Santa, so it's California. I refuse yeah. to believe that. Okay. That looks like Florida. That looked like, it did look very Florida. But there's there's Christmas decorations. So it's a, you know, there's no snow anywhere, obviously. No. It's palm mm-hmm. trees and all that. Uh, Christmas decorations, but the lighting on the Christmas decoration, it feels like the way, you know, black Christmas looks. Yes. Mm-hmm. You've got a sorority house. You've got girls in the sorority house. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, 
Uh, there's a slasher on the yeah, loose. They're the leftovers. Everyone else has gone home for Christmas. Yeah. I've never seen that movie before. <laughs> and they're all looking to get laid. Mm-hmm. This is a very horny movie. Yeah, it is. Horny movie. It's back horny to back horny movies. In a way that, like. You don't. I don't know. I didn't. I, I <laughs> Finish didn't, your thought. I didn't want some of these people to be horny. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? Well, yes, <laughs> but they were else. anyways. But like, like else, the, I don't want to stay on them while they're being horny. We we stick with yeah. these people too long. Yeah, yeah hang, the scenes are too long. In the midst hang of the horniness. Long. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got our cast of girls, right? The leftovers. So there's only yeah. like, you know, six of them or something mm-hmm. that are yeah. actually staying at the house. And then there's the house mother. There's the wander in performance by David Hess's sister mm-hmm. as, the, as the cannoli woman. Yep. Brings yeah. the cannoli. We can't forget about Ralph. I, and there's Ralph. Yeah. The cannoli that was clearly a package of hamburger. Yep. <laughs> with a, with a bow, to- a bow a on top of it. Yeah. Um, and there's Ralph. Who's Ralph, Ralph? Ralph's very important. Yes. He, <laughs> he's... He's the maintenance guy, I guess. Basically, he's groundskeeper Willie. He's groundskeeper Willie. Mm-hmm. Um, he Buck wears, West. But, yeah. Is but he wears a name. red onesie. Yeah. Has like his, to do everything. With, like, like coveralls like, over it. Yeah. 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 Um, he looks very like, it. like railroad riding bum. He's very tall. You know? Very he's tall. very tall. Yeah. And when we're first introduced to him, he's like there to water the plants or something. We're like, is Ralph yeah. touched? And then you're like, oh, he's just country, you know? And then he like In breaks the out the Bible <laughs> and, you know, he's got to like have, uh, you, I'm praying for you because there's evil on the Constantly Didn't he say though, okay, when he was talking about the plants, which he says take care of the plants and it's like two house plants in a room. It's not like the big conservatory or something. There but are a lot of house plants. There are a lot of plants, plants in that room. <laughs> but he doesn't he say something to the effect of the plants give me a lot of pleasure or God something, right? Us, God gave us the plants to get pleasure. Yes, yes, that's what he said. He makes it sound like he's fucking these plants. And yeah. so you're like, okay, something's wrong with this guy. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a very simple man. <laughs> oh, wait. Th- sorry. He just wants we, to be did, alone with his plants. Did we say what happened a year oh, ago? Right. Two years ago. <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> two years ago. Um, in this sorority house, some of the sisters chased another one i guess there was like hazing going on or something they didn't really specify they're chasing her with an axe they're chasing they're, her with like santa weapons. costume what, yeah axe uh, little knives a sword this is also the first we come in right in the middle of yeah. this at the yeah. beginning of this movie and it's just they're, a bunch of girls screaming with weapons and we don't yeah. know and why at, and at one point they are just yelling the word sorority <laughs> <laughs> sorority sorority <laughs> Just yeah. so you know, it's important. We to, have to get this across. It's important to note the girl that's running is wearing white pants. That is important uh, because, I mean, as we've discussed, um, it's before or after Labor Day, I don't still know. No, no she's a target of the universe now. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, she is a target of the universe because she said, no. "Come at me no. <laughs> if you are wearing white." You pants. are wearing white. Okay, this is the only time I'll ever say that when you're wearing something, you're asking for it. Yeah, but when you're oh, wearing white, white pants, <laughs> you're asking for it. for bad things to yeah. happen to you. Damn. And she goes off the balcony. And she has, well, yeah, the ultimate bad thing well, happened to her. Well, we say yeah. she goes off the balcony, she is but pushed. Quick, it's a dummy. It's the it's <laughs> the world's greatest that. dummy. It, it's, it's a very it's stiff dummy. Like this, yeah. Falls, ah! yeah. <laughs> Onto the concrete, was, four or five feet below, below the railing. Good. It was a great cold open. It yeah. was <laughs> wonderful. It lets you know. Hey, 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 hey. Dummy falls. This is what's going to happen. Great. So then we cut to two years later, and these girls yeah. are left behind. They say goodbye to everybody who's gone on Christmas vacation. They're left there because we don't know. The, snow, the movie doesn't care. Well, they, they, I mean, it's hard to decipher this dialogue, but we kind of get that like one of them just doesn't want to go home because she doesn't like her mom. Another one um, planned to stay so that she could hook up with her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Nope. And yeah, so they they do kind of give their reasons, but it doesn't fucking matter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're we're told that uh, the boys are coming. The boys are coming, and these and girls are. They're like, talking about this at dinner over stew. They yep. make a big deal about the stew, stew and, and cherry pie. pie, right? Yep. 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 Somebody doesn't have enough pie. Also, milk. Milk. Big milk movie. Yeah. Big, milk Big movie, movie for milk. Kayla's biggest nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> Especially being in the goblets, it did really made it yeah, more gross. Yeah, she drinks milk out of a goblet. Although, yeah. uh, this was, like, I was kind of surprised. The movie offloads the cat, like, at the very beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Somebody, like, you know, here, take the cat but with you on, the, on mm-hmm. your So vacation. it doesn't get murdered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo to them. Yeah. Well, there goes the cat out of the movie I and did- to safety. Holly picked this just to be like, see, it can be done. <laughs> see, look, the cat was literally sent to safety in the yeah. beginning of the movie. You can yeah. pick movies where they don't die. Literally the only thing I knew about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. And the boys are flying up the, yeah. from, the, I guess, the their private finishing plane. school. Yeah. Their dad, dad's rich. He's got <laughs> yeah. a private plane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, they're piloted by Harry Reams, who drops them off, and yeah. then they all jump out in Santa Claus costumes. And uh, and what what does the one say? <laughs> oh, he goes, he goes. I'm here or something. He's like, he hey, like, it's, uh, it's, it's me. Here I am. It's, uh, here it's me. Yeah. It's me. It's me. I'm, uh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's and this like, ADR. Oh. And oh, it's, I was like, that sounds like some weird ADR. I'm like, oh no, that's it, what he sounds like. It's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I thing, thought it was ADR. Because the next totally time he's singing ADR. in that voice, is yeah. the next time? oh, he's the guitar guy. Yeah, That's right. yeah. the one that you <laughs> gather around in front of the fireplace and he sings off pitch. This is the our... worst party in the <laughs> We were just world. cackling though because he sounded so much like ADR, and then it was like, no, this guy's voice—it's like David Putty put through like a little bit of auto tune, almost. I mean, you they, know, I think just... they brought him in specifically to do his ADR yeah. because like, you sound like that. Yeah, we can't skip that. Yeah. We got to bring you in to have you. Do do this for your character. So, so listen for that delivery if you watch this movie. When they get off the plane, uh, listen to the like, hey, here, here I am. Here I am. Yeah. I'm here. It's, yeah. uh, and there has uh, been a murder, go? I think, even before the guys show up, right? Because all I remember is a girl disrobing from her lingerie in oh, front the, yeah, of a moonlight they don't window. Know that, yeah. 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 But she gets killed, I think, and her boyfriend call her out the window. Barbara, or whatever he said. Christine? Christine? Christine I don't know. He his, like you said, he put his back into it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought he was going to hurt himself the way he, like, horked forward while he was doing it. He's like, come on, we got to go. And she's, like, getting naked up, and you're like, hey, what is, was she, she doing? is he going in, or is she coming That's out? That's what I could like, not I figure know. out. It's proof, it's proof that we know that they were filmed on different days. Yes. He is not reacting correctly. No, because she's, like, she's fully like, naked in yes, front of the at window. the window, being yeah. all sexy. And he's, like, he's, he's smoking like, going, he's like, we got to go. We got Oh, no. And you're just like, what is it? What is this movie about? I have no idea. We don't know. We still don't, don't know. know. We see. We've seen the whole thing. And I think um, I'm gonna have to watch this again to hopefully put together a sentence about it. You know. Well, so they are very horny couples. Well, I don't. They're not even couples at that point. They're going to become. There's going to be coupling. It's, it's like, gonna it's like the place. whole. They're coupling out of. Yeah, like lack of options, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. they're the, coupling out of convenience. Everybody's yeah. just like, I mean, uh, we're girls and they're guys, and this is what happens. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like they arrived on a hell on a, on a plane, and uh, we're gonna get loose, we're gonna get freaky, <laughs> and so they immediately so start. We're gonna <laughs> drug the house lady. <laughs> they drug the house lady yeah. with their warm milk, hot milk, their hot yep. milk, hot milk. And <laughs> Why does it sound worse? Uh, we literally watch her like pour it into the saucepan on the stove, and I was just like, "Oh, oh, oh no. I don't want to see this." See, this is I don't. Uh, well, okay, trying to make sense of this movie is going to be like impossible. Yeah. But okay, at, the way about? that yeah, I understand this, okay, the house mother yeah. is the authority figure sure. in the house, and yeah. so they have to drug her milk so she will sleep through right. the sexual shenanigans she's just, which are going to take she's place. She's just a sweet old lady that makes stew and pie. Yeah, right. she's, mm-hmm. And sews. And sews. Okay. Just, I'm with you. Yeah. So you got to knock her out because we're going to get out. sinful. It's right? really yeah. for tonight. the best for everybody. It okay. is. You know, she'll but get a good night's sleep yeah. when you get to party. But in the morning, mm-hmm. the guys are still there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And she's like, I'll serve you breakfast and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you're like, why did you even have to drug her then if she's cool with the guys being there? Right. Well, they make an like offhanded comment where he's like, our, our plane should be fixed soon. Right. So I think they like had a ruse where they're like, oh, our plane's broken. So we're we just got stopping by. Because yeah. then he say like, well, we didn't mean to it's stay like a porn so setup. long. And you're like, what? Did that, but still, that means it. And she's like, ah, it's fine. Yeah. Boys, why don't you just have some of my freshly baked? Goods. I tried to look to see what was on the plate, and it didn't look like breakfast. It, I don't know what it was. Leftover cherry pie. More stew. I, yeah. She did say there was a lot of stew left. She did. Breakfast Ew. stew. It was probably like stew omelets or something. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Ew. It sounds Those so runny. Those two words are wrong. <laughs> stew omelet. So I think stew omelet sounds, sounds like a omelet. cartoon character. Sounds like a, yeah. Sounds like, Along with like Tony a, Helicopter. Sounds like a SpongeBob character. Steven Helicopter. Sorry. <laughs> we hope you're still listening out there. Um... <laughs> The okay, so the the central protagonist of the movie. Whoa, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of big terms you're throwing around Whoa. here. I need you to pull that down a the little bit. Character, you know, and I don't think Alex Rebar is on the same page as you. I don't think so <laughs> because okay, so we have what's the, the Kevin Hart bit from uh, Forty Year Old like. Now you're saying a lot of big words, and I can't understand, I can't understand them. So I'm gonna take them as disrespect. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Help him to say it. That's pretty good. I should use that. Um. So the the blonde virgin that is the yes. character yes. that's Jennifer Onion. Yes. Yes. Jennifer Onion. Yeah. Okay. Nancy. 
Nancy. Yeah. Right? Nancy. We, I think we established that Nancy is the best name for a horror movie for some. It is a good Nancy. horror movie. Nancy yeah. is good. Um, I mean, she's the main character of the movie, right? Yeah. Does she have an arc? <laughs> Do you have a point? No, Is well, like she a- gets more... You, Michaela, do you remember that episode of It's Always Sunny? I know it's going to come to that. Where D like progressively gets more and more bird like. And yes, then by the end yes. of the episode, she's just an it's ostrich. It's just an ostrich, yes. Yeah. It's like that, but she gets more and more childlike. Yeah. Uh, like she Benjamin star- Buttons. She, star- she starts out just like a normal like college girl, but then like by the end of the movie, she's got pigtails and she's yeah. wearing like a like a white baby doll yeah. like outfit. And it's, yeah. yeah, it's unsettling. She's more it's- and more childlike. She's innocent. It's- okay, so that's it. There you go, man. Maybe that's what they're going for. No, she's, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> because Ralph is overprotective of her. I like you. I don't like In a really else, creepy right? way. Yeah. 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 I got to protect you and you need to pray to God in order to keep yeah. him away from all the... He's like, you're not slutty like the other girl. Why did you just fondle your side? That was for you, Holly. Sean had to, had, has to do the hand motions. The the He's stroking his own chest over here. just for them. Yeah. It's for us. Um, I hope the listeners felt that. Uh, I felt it. <laughs> we know you <laughs> saw it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this uh, leads to. So I, I, mean, I guess I yeah, still don't understand at? where. Ralph. No, but I don't Ralph. understand. Like yeah. she has no connection uh, to the killer or the backstory, which is revealed later on. Yeah, uh, I don't nothing. understand why not just make her a part of it. But yeah, so I it guess that, that makes her see, like she doesn't have. Maybe that's why. Like some of these slasher movies always do. Like this character has trauma related to this place, and they have to come back here. It gives them some kind of connection to the plot. That like this one, she's just the blonde. We yeah. have to protect the blonde I, from the killer. Yeah. Well, I. I mean, I'm I'm about to give it a lot of credit here, but I think I think the whole point is that she she's the new. Did we ever find out her name? The one that dies in the beginning? Uh, I don't think I so. Find out her name. Mm, no. The dead one. The, yeah, the dead girl the in the beginning. Yeah. I think Over she's the like the new ver- she's the new her. Okay, that's what they're that's going That's the for. connection. So like, the other girl was the innocent one too and she was the one that they were like hazing and, uh, makes and sense. now this is the new version. You're right. Wouldn't it work Give it more credit than deserve? I know. more and we felt like that was where like she could end up in the same position as the girl in the but even later in the movie, when the killer finally confronts her, it like blows all that away. Like if you mm-hmm. could tie it in, I suppose, right? It, you right. know, it's like you remind me of my daughter because, of course, yes, the killer is related to. I mean, like you know, where else are you going to go? It's right. a parent of the the girl killed at the <laughs> beginning, who is the killer in the movie, mm-hmm. who dresses up as a Santa Claus and stalks slowly. Up and down the stairs. Many Man, times. Mostly up, up the Mostly stairs. up. A lot of stairs going up. It never, kills people. Never use the dumb waiter. I know. But. I, Sorry. I'm so, I'm so upset. I have I want a dumb waiter so bad. And then to, to see one, get a tease of one. And then <laughs> to not see it get used. Have you watched the series The Watcher on Netflix? No. Is there a dumb waiter? You are going to love the dumb waiter. Hell man. yeah. There's major. It's a big. Plot is it a big point. Is big it a big point. decent sized one? Huge. Like, could you fit a person in it? They do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. Is this person dead? <laughs> I won't say anything. Yes, yeah. they are. The Watcher. The Watcher on, on Netflix. Netflix. Not, Watcher. Not Watcher movie. Not Watcher. Right. Not Watcher on Shutter. The Watcher. Which is Netflix. also good, but yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, I watched that. Sorry, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. It is good. Okay. Anyway. Good. Um, so there are slashings. Um, Indeed. We pretty have, quickly. Right, yeah. Pretty quickly. And, they, they go pretty rapid fire, yeah. I know at one point we were like, this movie's going to have to hit the brakes because it's killing off the entire cast like very quickly. Yeah. I think by the time they are like, hey, the boys spent the night, like half of the cast is dead. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Including so the British one, which I was very disappointed by. We have uh, yeah, killings British. by axe to the face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a slit throat yep. with fish, fish wire. That's there's, the garage. Two. Oh, yeah. Slit throats. One of them was good though, because you actually saw like the. Uh, I mean, the makeup effects. The the they they don't. For what they had. Yeah, <laughs> they're like the, on the edges of the screen. That one rock to the head though was not good. That, <laughs> that was, was just like good. blight not blood good. spill splatter yeah. on his face, and his head was turned to the yeah. side. The actual it. murder sequences, I would say, are bad. The the makeup effects they have for after the throat yeah. has been cut are like eh, it's all right, yeah. but it's like you lost the impact of it because David Huss does know how to shoot mm-hmm. the actual. Mm-hmm. He didn't have Tom mm-hmm. Savini going over there like no, you have to no, you got to shoot this way, way. Yeah. otherwise it's not gonna look good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, because the Brit under? gets slashed at the at the refrigerator. Yep, we get a arrow through oh. the back. Well, yeah. you know, we get an arrow through the mouth. Arrow through the mouth. Through the that's mouth, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when, and then an axe when they're engaging. There is a yeah. suit of armor in this movie that comes to life. <laughs> Excuse me. It sure does. Yeah, and you, Sean, didn't you literally say a few minutes before, like, I really hope someone's in that suit oh, of yeah. armor. Oh yeah. As soon as I, as soon as they, they're like, oh, they're focusing on it. And it's like so a legit better jump in that scare. Suit of armor. And it's, yeah, just, the, it's the like, worst. oh. Yeah. But just the setup to that, I mean, to show kind of the the ineptness of the direction. It's like so, uh, 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 Virgin Blonde, Blonde Virgin is like <laughs> poking around. She's because she's outside. While all drinking her milk, everybody, you're right. <laughs> and everybody goblet, inside yeah. is getting wearing laid. a head to toe carpet, <laughs> mm-hmm. and so she's going up to the windows and looking wistfully in on the other people uh, who yeah. are doing the thing that she's she'll watching never the sex, like some do. Dickensian ghost or something. It's yeah. fucking weird. <laughs> but the camera then adopts her point of view as we watch the young couple she's in a boo, intimate just tryst, she can't. <laughs> and then it pans up. And I'm like, okay, what are we looking at in this shot? There's a suit of armor, right? I got it. But is there a killer Santa out the window? I don't see him. And then it cuts away and you're like, what do I look at? I didn't see the armor in that shot. So I'm like, what are we doing? (laughs) What are we looking at? There's a transom above this door. Okay. Like, okay, where's he hiding? I don't see him. Because we've seen the Santa. Mm-hmm. He's wearing yeah. a mask. I, I, yeah, I was waiting for some like sign shit. We're just like, oh, we can't see it, but then it's gonna move, <laughs> right? Yeah, because he does use that, like you know, Halloween had obviously been out before this, so there is like one or two shots where the Santa is lurking in the background of a mm-hmm. shot yep. as the camera pans yes. past mm-hmm. it, and you're like, ooh, there he is. Yeah, that was yeah. Um, we, <laughs> but this one was just like, yeah. nope. There's a suit of armor, and Sean's like, didn't he say something about it coming to life? And then it yeah. did, and it oh, attacked yeah. him. <laughs> I do. So, I, I do. I was going to say, I love it when my hopes and dreams come true while watching yeah. a movie. I really do. <laughs> I do appreciate in the interview that I that I read and printed, um, <laughs> the interviewer flat out was like, so there's a lot of missing stuff in your shots. <laughs> and he's like, do you, want, do you want to expand on that? And he was like, yeah, we shot with less than 30,000 feet of footage. So when we missed, the oh. mar- when we missed, we really missed the mark. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. He, he fully knew. <laughs> I like the way they, this is one of the few movies that gives credit to Fuji ASA. Yeah. Was it 360? 250? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the film at the end of it. Like we just had the, what do they call those? The, the not the split ends, the. The, the the you got the heads or the tails of yeah, film rolls that have them. been cut off and they sell them cheap and yeah. you got like seventy feet and that's as far as it goes. Um, you're gonna make a movie with it. At least it. it was all one stock. Yeah. Um, so the stock where you can shoot at night and it looks like that. Well, a big a big uh, so like everybody's oblivious to all this killing going on except for Ralph. There's a lot of argument. Well, Ralph and there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of argument about whether we should be believing any of this stuff or not. I love if, your, when they, if your friends didn't show, like, come back the next day, wouldn't you think something was wrong? Yeah. And then you found a murdered body. Well, yeah. there's multiple times in this movie where a character is like, I know Paul was murdered or whatever, but, you know, we can't stop going about our lives. <laughs> like, that's how they're talking about it. They keep no, saying, see, that like, is yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's the killer's like, actually, probably a thousand yes. miles away right now. It's like, why yeah. would you think that? Yeah, they, they have no reason to think anything. No, of this. nothing. They man. literally act like everything is fine. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing is wrong. And the police show up because Ralph, <laughs> yeah. Ralph is found dead. Ralph is like yes. the, that's like the, he's got the major role here. Right. Ralph is found dead. Cause at this point I feel like they've kind of, dead. they've kind of geared it up to try to get us to think that he's Santa. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Cause he's walking around with uh, uh, shears yeah. the whole time. We and see Santa sharpening shears at one point. And they're like playfully running through the field or what the fuck ever. And they the trip frolicking. over him. Oh and yeah. He oh, sits yeah. up cause oh, yeah. he's when, got when, rigor mortis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when Alan, Watches into the frame with a head wound. It really was. Because <laughs> yeah. Alex is just like, he runs into he's, Nancy and he's yeah. like, you're cute. And then he starts like, pretending no. to be And Igor. then he's like, ah. Like, he, he turns into, he's acting like a horny old man. Yeah. Like that is the impersonation he's doing. And then he chases her I, around. Yeah, I thought he was doing Igor. Yeah, I thought he was doing Quasimodo. I don't know. Like everybody was doing Quasimodo yeah. back then. Just think that when you watch these and be like, oh, I see it. It's Quasimodo and all these. Yeah. Well, this is because the, <laughs> the, the crazy sexual pairings in this, right? <laughs> yes. Um, right. Alex the crazy is the, pairings. well, it was, it was just weird. Yeah. Because like, oh, yeah. Alex is like. You know, I guess the nerd, right? Yeah. Like uh, the stone cold. Um, oh, oh, oh! Uh, uh, you took your blouse off. I'm, I'm going to look away over here. Like just afraid of the physical touch of a woman. Well, is and this isn't man. He give, don't we meet him giving us like 
like science facts. Yeah, or some he's shit, so right? nervous. He's Neurons. talking yeah, about his yeah. job and, and yeah. X-rays. How the the human skull uh, used to be too thick <laughs> in yeah. order to get the X-ray through there. This is like how he talk. How he tries to relate to people is yeah. like, right. Yeah. And the stuff first like thing the other woman thought was like, "I need to fuck this man." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she takes him up to bed, and it's like a whole thing about. It. He's like, "Oh, I don't know what I should be doing." And it's like, bam! That's, it's like that's lo- that's lovely. I can't I can't look at you. <laughs> but they have a magical night together so much that it totally transforms his character because the next day he is a different man yeah. he's he a different is a man, man. Yeah. And like then, if he came out with an unbuttoned shirt just smoking <laughs> yeah <laughs> what? and then like put it out on his arm it's, yeah. like, it's like in Wayne's world yeah when Garth hooks up with Heather Locker <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or Kim Basinger yeah. yes yeah and he comes out in the smoking jacket yep You're Kim Basinger <laughs> mm-hmm. but then he ends up like immediately trying to hook up with the uh, virgin blonde blonde virgin well he obviously liked he's, what happened to him yeah. he would like more i know but it seems like everybody the next night is he's like we're just gonna him. we're we're gonna pair off in different groups than we did or different pairings than well we did the, the, night the relationships get weird get, get, yeah, get stressed is. and fractured and uh, was people, there it was just like eh, it was fun is, last night tonight i'm gonna fuck her instead yeah, well, yeah. and she's like that's okay because i'm trying to fuck this other guy mm-hmm. it was just like okay mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, the only one who had a porno was people TJ. Made this movie. Colin, you've clearly never been to finishing school. Uh, <laughs> not. Oh, but should I? Have been Ew. Stop it! <laughs> you stop it! You said it. So now mm. a police inspector shows up <laughs> with the Finally. mob, the most New York Long. Where's he? Where do you think he's from? He's just very. He's very Jersey. Italian. He's very Jersey. He's I would say he's Jersey. from Jersey. Yes. <laughs> that loud ass suit. Yeah. Loud right. suit. Big finger gestures, <laughs> yeah. like weird. Big mustache. It's like, hey, mm-hmm. I'm going to go get my guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're going to watch the house. He didn't have a mustache. He'd be all right. He didn't? No, no he, he didn't. Have no, mustache. The no he's, it sounded like he had a mustache. <laughs> yeah. 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 He and he brings, I mustache. mean, the guys he brings with him are like uh, gangsters. Yeah. It feels oh, yeah. like, but yeah. they're the cops. They're going to watch the house. And of course, one of them immediately is like going to go fuck the, the what, what yeah. Leah or whatever. It's like, you're yeah. coming with me. And like, what? the hell is okay okay sorry i'm getting hot under the color there's just so much action going on in this movie so um then the killer strikes again and <laughs> kills the rest of the many, cast. many more times yes. well yeah kills kills multiple people but takes a head yeah spends uh, a lot of time head? burying it's that? like the first dark-haired girl's I don't head. even know. But, like, but, corners, head, but yeah. corners Leah in the shower. Yeah. Yeah. And did I miss that she revealed? Or the- okay. So this was, I, I saw it happen because <laughs> okay. we're yeah. on the killer's shoulder yeah. sure. looking at naked girl in the shower. Right. So your attention is on naked, naked girl, girl in the, in the shower. shower. Yeah. But there is a motion where I think the killer, because I caught it. I'm yes. like, are they supposed to be where the killer looks like they're lifting up their Mass. They, they do. Okay. Now, why? Who knows? Uh, but Leah why has for a- the next fifteen <laughs> minutes of Leah's time in the movie. That's why because she loses her, her mind and becomes uh, like a ballet ballerina. dancer. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Which I think was like <laughs> you're with which, us. Which, I, which I was, I'll guess, was on her resume. And they're like, oh, you did ballet at some point. Would you like to do that in this movie? No. You think this was a professional? No, she is not doing any <laughs> any professional level of ballet. She's just twirling around. I believe she, she thinks she can. Yeah. Maybe that's that what may it be is. it. Yeah. That may be but, enough. But I mean, the character herself throughout the movie has been like a performer. Yeah. She does lots yes. of accents and lots of bits. Theater so kid. She's cle- yes, Michaela mm-hmm. said it already. She's clearly a theater kid. I mean, at, at the end, I don't see her like doing any... I've seen professional ballet. That's not it. <laughs> She's just twirling around on a balcony. On a balcony in a Victorian and dress. Keep in hoping a Victorian She's dress gonna go over. With yeah. Crazy makeup. Yeah. Um, yeah. She has mm-hmm. lost her mind. Mm-hmm. Well, at least two of the other ones get the idea that like, because apparently you can't leave this place. It's like so remote and and, yeah. and the, cops, the cops told them not to leave. Yeah. And so they but immediately there's a killer go and there's, you're finding right. beheaded people in the shower and you're yeah. like, but everything's fine. Right? Well, this is after, uh, yeah. Well, this is this is when they know things are wrong, and so they're like, "We're gonna go to the plane." Two of them. Oh yeah. They're like, "We're gonna go to the plane" because you're like, "Okay, you can't walk out or drive out. You gotta go get the plane." Oh no, what's her? No, yeah, what's yeah her they name went out. Running away. They went out to hook up. 
she was gonna hook up with that with uh, the one dude. Oh, and he got garroted. And um, oh yeah, he the got garroted. Piano wire. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. From so the she tree, runs to the which, plane right okay. where she finds Harry. Somebody, Reeves. I'm gonna have Michaela describe that scene where the guy gets garroted. How just before he gets garroted? <laughs> what's happening? Oh, okay. So they were making out. Should I act it out for you? Stop they it. were making Stop out, it. and we cut away, and then when we cut back, they're like leaning up against this wall. And they both look like they're like nodding off, like they're about to pass out. But the guy looks like he's almost completely out. And she has her fingers like massaging like his gums. <laughs> and they're, this is supposed to be sexy, I think. And he, that's he when he gets garroted. Yeah. And we just see wire coming come down. down. It, yeah. Kayla clearly needs more massage gums. Yeah. Life. Yeah. I was like, I, was like I, wasn't, I wasn't aware of this for, kind of foreplay. But yeah, it's, it's like milking the prostate, but wait. Yeah. <laughs> Stop talking about milk. milk. Oh, milk. <laughs> milk. So he gets, yeah, because you got little puppet master Santa up in the tree. Like, right. ah, strangling yeah, I'm sorry, him. but as they're doing the weird lip massaging thing, yeah. we, we see that that, that string start lowering Come down. down. We're just like, what the yeah. fuck is I that? Love yeah. it. That was funny. It was shit. very, the whole, just the setup of that, because they're like, all right, nobody can move because we got to get this wire to come down. Yeah, you have throat, to stand so perfectly still. You got to be still. perfectly still. So what if she's massaging your gum? So that you don't, well, your head doesn't move. Well, enjoy it, yeah. but don't move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's very, what, that, that is the exact direction for that scene. <laughs> it was very Looney Tunes the way that wire came down, you know? <laughs> yeah. It seemed like some more like coyote would do. Put, right, just put like, that wire down, you it know? It like, like the music should be going along with it, like, dun, 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 dun. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, the music almost was not yeah. it, it was pretty loony. Well, that girl, yes. so that girl runs and gets to the plane, yes. and Harry Reams has just been sleeping underneath her for like the In past the two days. So this is what he does. Right. He's just waiting for yeah. them to come back. Yeah. And so then he's got to fix the generator, which is on the In propeller. pitch black? How? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This movie's got a lot of day for night shots. Not this a, one not is a the worst day for night because, shots. like, they have a because golden, the sun is setting behind them, <laughs> the golden light of a sunset, <laughs> but it's the middle of the night. It's magic hour, uh, and they're right. they're at, day at for night magic morning, hour. Yes. Yeah, so, and the way they have the day for night, it looks like it's like five a.m. It looks like the sun's about oh, to come yeah, up any minute yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. But Santa gets on the plane before them and turns the engine on, and we don't actually hit the, they, that's like inept. It's like they both turn toward. Like the cockpit go, and then we see the cockpit and like gobs of blood like splatter <laughs> yeah, all like over. Like a lot. Like, okay. It looked like blood and some hamburger meat. Yeah. yeah. Was something. Got him, yeah. But, but also, but it flew around too lightly. Yeah. It's like, what, are the, what is that? Sawdust. It's like red foam yeah. or some shit. <laughs> so who's left alive at this point? Leah has lost her mind. Is yeah. twirling around the house. <laughs> yes. And so that leaves Lost Nancy, her and, Nancy Alex. and Alex. Yeah. So dweeb and yeah. uh, and Virgin Block. He's not, hey, he's not a dweeb anymore. He's, he's a, dweeb a anymore. fucking man. That's right. Well, he is until the phone doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has a breakdown. Is, oh, yeah. When breakdown. he found the, the severed head in the, in the <laughs> shower, fine. that what, guy what? had an acting moment. <laughs> as he's like, oh, my. He's so disgusting. Like, he's got his oh, I'm trying on. to. Yeah. The girls just come in and they scream and they're like, "Okay, I get that, you know." Right. You see it. That's like easy. He had to like almost like, "Oh, I'm gonna lose it," then like pull it back. Like, in yeah, like put his like glass. He was compose yourself, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pull yourself together, man. Yeah. It was like, a I need to great, phone. great moment. Um, <laughs> and so then the killer uh, reveals himself. <laughs> now, a the killers reveal. Of their face to Leah, we know was enough choices. to drive her out of her mind. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. So we're like, "Wow, who's what kind of disfigured, awful thing is this?" It's crapsy. <laughs> Who are our suspects? Because Ralph is dead. He's out of Ralph's gone. We know it's not any of the students because they're all dead. Both mm -hmm. cops are dead, except yeah. for the cops are dead. The so two we cops got, left. They're dead. Right. So process of elimination then brings us to house mom. And it is house. Well, it could have been cannoli woman, but it wasn't. Right, well, it, wasn't, it could have yeah. been cannoli woman. It was house mom. No, we house we mom. kind of figured it was house mom. I mean, she or Colin did, and I was like, yeah. yep, yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, they did go looking for her, and she was missing. So. Because <laughs> when you never do actually see her taking the milk that is supposed to knock her out. No, she never right? drinks she it. Never drinks it. Never she always going to bed. Yep. Mm -hmm. She wanders away to her room. All the shenanigans are happening, and that means that she's actually dressing up as Santa for reasons. Completely unknown. Because it's a Christmas movie. Yes. <laughs> but could she have gotten into that suit of armor and then back into the Santa suit? How could she do it? How could she be one place and then another? 
Dun, dun, dun. Michaela, how could she do that? There's two monsters in this movie, Michaela. <laughs> There's two monsters. But I was going to say it's the magic of Santa Claus. That he can That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That, you know, yeah. wow. All right. I like it. Yep. He can be anywhere at all I times. I love the That's Christmas great. spirit. Bravo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The, I mean, the magic I, of Christmas. I kind of wish this movie would lean into that level like, of crazy. Like, at the very end, she like he, winked ju- at, oh, winked he just went room. like this, and some yeah. magic fairy dust came out, and he disappeared. I'd be like... Oh, uh, what? No. Yeah. Yeah, but see. No, like, he's got to lay his finger at the side of his nose and is go. That, is go that what that the, is? Yeah. Is that what this Lays his finger is? at the side of his nose and go up the chimney and, he goes. <laughs> no, he would go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Farmer a, that's blow. a violent night. I think that's no, actually pro- happening. You know what? It happens. I can almost. I think it's in the trailer. It, oh. I, say, I think so. I'm I mean, does he put does off he by a movie? Does he and snort cocaine? Because that's another angle you could do. I'm sure Bad Santa did that. I feel like they did, yeah. Seems like that movie would do that. We hate to shock you, listeners, but there are two killers in this movie. However, at the end, they are both dressed as Santa, which is doubly confusing because they should have had one in, in the, the, night, the night uniform yeah. or the night yeah. uh, armor. armor. The armor. An um, opportunity missed. So who are the killers and what is their motive? How's you, mom? You killed my wife. I'm police chief. The mm-hmm. police. The, the, the parents <laughs> of the... Dead finishing school girl. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and they have lost their minds. There's a lot of Friday the Thirteenth rip off baby. going on here. She looks here. exactly like Mrs. Voorhees. Yeah, yeah. And you killed my baby. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she's like, but she d- Mrs. So and So, I wasn't even here this last is my year. First yeah. year. Killed my baby. Mm-hmm. And she, yeah, when she says kill, it almost sounds like the. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, it's it. very close mm-hmm. to Friday the Thirteenth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there's the uh, standard. She gets knocked out, and like, oh, she's dead, and I. Like, Pops back up and chases them around, and mm-hmm. then they do kill her. Oh, yeah, she gets uh, launched off a balcony as well. Mm-hmm. Yep, just like, just like her daughter. daughter. Did. And then, uh, how, well, just because we don't see how, yeah, <laughs> it's like, I, was she just so crazy at that she point? Overshot she just went, her jump? I, yes, and just went <laughs> over the balcony, yeah, because they're replaying the original scene, I think, in that, except yeah. when the girl goes, goes over, over, it's the mom who lands, yeah, right, yeah, which yeah. is, I had, um, uh, what was the vertical vo- terminal velocity? Something like that. Remember uh, when she hits the ground? What's the fucking movie? Um, I'll think of it later. Where at the beginning of the movie, where the dad they have to cut the dad loose from the rock climbing thing, and he just falls down. Anybody remember this terminal mm, velocity? No, what is this movie? It's, probably it's got one. what's her name from End of Days. Um, okay, Robin Tunney. Like, Robin yeah. Tunney and uh, Robin from Ben, ben and Robin. What the fuck is oh, Chris O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. Yeah. Oh, that's the vertical limit. Vertical limit. That's <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm, what did you say it was? I'm, I'm like terminal velocity, terminal velocity. vertical horizon. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm just these. naming everything over here. I'm like, that's a band. That's not yeah. right. Vertical limit. Never mind. Okay, I go. digress. Bill Paxton um, is the bad guy. Mm-hmm. So it was like that in how the mm-hmm. the it's been a while that she falls onto the the dummy in the Santa suit, like hits the ground. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Wait, what? What's your name? That's what you're saying. It's like uh, well, it's, a vertical limit. In yeah, the yeah. Because it just, well, cause, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the shot is the same, where it just shows where they're gonna land, and you're like, huh? And then they come into frame and land. Yeah, that's the only similarity. I went through all that <laughs> okay. to get to okay. that. Okay, all right. And then, that was a journey. Random. That's why you listen to the Saturday Night Freak Show for context, because we're gonna give and you ADD rants. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then, yeah, the other one, the other Santa unmasks himself after, uh, and it's the police chief. Yeah. We're like, whoa. And it's if, her, her I dad. I kind of wish he was still wearing that jacket underneath there. That would have been great. Yeah. It was a loud plaid jacket. It was. And he gets, uh, then Alex, who we last saw breaking yeah. down into a puddle next to the phone, the line dead. He finally pulled together and said, I had sex today. I'm a man, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> Give me a crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Thank and God for the shoots crossbow. that fucker with a crossbow. He dies. There's the chest and he dies on his wife. So the end of this movie then, right? We've killed the monsters mm-hmm. and it's like, okay, it's time to wrap this up. And <laughs> so we're like, how's this movie going to finish? Uh, it's 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 a plot. It's dangling plot stri- strings. And so Alex and Nancy come out of the house. Yeah. She wants to go back in for Leah, and he said, no, we'll send someone back for her. Even though we've established that you have to apparently take a plane to get to this place, and Leah's like right there. She's just inside the... the she, in she's the literally door. right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, we're going to come back for her. Okay, and so they We walk. can't bother with her. She's crazy. So then the camera tilts up, and on the upper balcony, uh-huh. there's Leah. Sure. And she's still twirling. Twirling. Twirling and singing. Twirling. Twirling. 
into the, the future. What's yeah. the yeah. Simpsons thing? Constantly it, twirling, <laughs> twirling, <laughs> twirling, not into the, yeah, spinning forward, not yeah, backward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> Kang and Kodos. The great. <laughs> yes. Um, and then we're like, okay, this is going to end like Black Christmas, right? Where <laughs> all of a sudden Leah's going to get, we're going to hear her. I That's what I thought it was going to do. I thought well, Colin's hear narrating what he thinks exactly is going to happen. Yeah. And that's what made this moment so funny. Yeah. <laughs> you, you would just tilt up. There wouldn't be anyone there. You'd hear her and then a scream and then we'd go to credits. But no, we tilt up and there she is. So, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it just freeze frames. In red. Turns red, right? It does yep. that a couple times. Yeah. Yep. Was that a oh, nod yeah. to Friday the 13th? Because Friday the 13th would fade through white every once it in a did. while. In but a I think that frame. made more sense because I think that's supposed to be like the pain. Here's white hot the pain, pain and the shock. You know, and, yeah, like yeah. And the, this one. It's the flash of your life. Before yeah. Your eyes. This one flashes through to red. I mean, I was still waiting for the like some reveal that uh, Alex was the son of yeah. them too. Like there'd be a, a Santa mask in his back pocket as they're running away and they'd freeze frame on that or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but no, no, we don't get anything. It's just uh, we killed him, and we're out. <laughs> Dead, done. Yeah, and we're, we're safe. And You're the right movie <laughs> is over. Movies, it's over. Movie's over. Like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Leave it open for a sequel. I guess. You know right? what? <laughs> but you know what? I was disappointed by uh, knowing that uh, David Hess is a composer, songwriter, he singer. Did not do anything for this movie. Didn't do that anything. is disappointing. I know. Yeah. All you gotta do is put some jingle bells to whatever you're gonna Something, sing. You just right? shake some jingle bells yeah. and it's Christmas. No song at the end of it. Yeah. yeah. Didn't feel very Christmassy. No, the music is uh is, is not it's not truly really good in this movie. Because there's moments where it's yeah. just like bum, 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 it's good bum, music bum, leading bum, up to it, and then they start the fight, and then all you hear is <laughs> as they're slapping each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like put some put something under this. What's going on? Yeah, he commented that he was not happy with the music and the uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I could have done a better job myself. Yeah, why didn't he do a better job? He couldn't they afford weren't gonna himself? pay him, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, um, You've stuck with us for <laughs> this long. So like we stuck with the movie. That's right. So you got to stick with us a little while longer, like we stuck with the movie, because we're going to tell you whether or not you should watch it this holiday season and for every Christmas season to come. For eternity. Uh, but first, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He brought his Christmas sack today. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas sack. Sack. It's got a lot of extra bulge in that sack, <laughs> Igor. What's in there? Mail. Uh, okay well we want to thank you Igor well we want to uh, remind you again that um, this is the uh, voting week yes for uh, the movies that you want us to cover in January be nice and uh, you can also email us through the same place where you find that and that's our social media like uh, on Facebook facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show or Twitter at Sat Freak Show or you can email us your Sat- yeah <laughs> Saturday Night Freak Show yeah. <laughs> Or Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Like the movie itself, you don't know where we're going to go. Yeah, the rhythm's all But off follow tonight. us, will you? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> you just told us what. I hedged my bets because MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, says that we are inducting one other person to the wall, although I think this is definitely a hallway. Please be all Buck right. West. Please be Buck West. It is Jay Rasumni. Oh, I saw That's that. Right. Yeah. Because he played Dan. In uh, to all a good night, Dan. Which one was Dan? Was don't he the know. singer? I don't even have that on my list. No, Dan. I think T. No, maybe Dan was the singer because TJ was the dude who got garroted. Alex was the other one. Dan was probably the guitar guy. He could have been. Sure, we don't know. But he was also in Ninja uh, Three. You know, he played in me. Ninja Three. You remember that movie? I do. I, yeah. I he was the uh, first morgue attendant in uh, Ninja Three. Was he eating something? And uh, in Breaking Two, oh. Electric oh. Boogaloo, he was uh, he was a hard hat. The cannon man. Oh, so they had wow. the yeah when the construction workers are dancing. I think so. Welcome to the hallway, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the hallway. <laughs> but a little bit of extra points for cannon movies. So right, true. Yeah. Well, about tonight's movie, to all a good night, Carson Snar writes in and asks, "How does this one compare to Silent Night, Deadly Night?" Hmm. Hmm. Is that a you have to wait to see? I think so. Do? Okay. I was more entertained by this one. But 
All right. Well, there you go. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we'll get to it in our yep. wrap ups. Um, Michael Whitaker said a Christmas slasher where someone dresses up as Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Devil, you say. Uh, Next thing you're gonna tell me is this movie has cult porno actor Harry Reams in a minor role. <laughs> never. We would never tell you that. Uh, last week we watched a movie called Wild Things. Ah, oh, we did. Mm-hmm. Uh, Milla Time eighty six. Oh, nope. all right. That's time with the Y. Okay. Milla. Milla yeah, time. We've, they've written in before, I believe. Uh, says Wild Things is a pretty decent little murder mystery. It could have done without Kevin Bacon's quarter chub. Disagree. But I guess they had to even out the lesbian kiss scene. Yeah. It's not even. Bacon dong. No way is that even. Not even. Are you kidding me? No. No. Nope. Not even close. <laughs> Okay, it's like a bacon dog needed to slap someone in the face for it, it to be even. It wasn't even in a sexual context. It was just him in the shower. Yeah, like no. th- I'm sorry, that's that's not the same. Nope, not the same. <laughs> they did cut all the gay subplots in this movie. <laughs> the week before, we watched a movie called Enter the Dragon. Yeah, sure we did. Indeed. And Bill Hainer wrote in and said, "If you haven't seen the Kentucky Fried Movies parody of this, it's definitely <laughs> worth it." <laughs> It's the longest skit in the film, and it ends up sending up the entire plot of Enter the Dragon. It's what you'd expect from John Landis and the Zucker Brothers. Interesting. Hmm. I've never seen Kentucky Fried Movie. Neither have I. No. I know. I'm kind of shocked by that. Hmm. I've never seen it. Hmm. Classic. Well, thank you all, each and every one of you, for writing in. Now we're going to go around the table and tell you what you we thought of tonight's movie. <laughs> to all, to all good night. Good night. There okay. Yeah. We got it. Because I was not going to remember that. And we're going to start with Sean. All right, there we go. Um, I was surprisingly entertained by this movie tonight. Um, if by uh, for no other reason than I had no idea where it was going. I mean, we had some clues, but surprise after surprise, line of dialogue after line of dialogue. <laughs> um, uh, predictable, maybe. I you said you had no idea where it was going. Until a certain point, I'm sorry. Okay. After a certain point, you're just like, okay, I can, we can see. Because when it comes to being the house, mom is the killer, we got to a point where we're just like, okay, it's probably here. But we knew we were going to end up, we just didn't know how we were getting there. Yeah, <laughs> the roads were twisty. Um, uh, if for no other reason than uh, Ralph Buck West, bravo to him for his role <laughs> in this movie. You must pray. <laughs> um, the uh, it's such a strange movie because like we said before like the dialogue in this is just it's uh, it, it, unfollowable but still interesting to watch these people i don't know i i, I was entertained by it um it's it's a weird movie <laughs> i don't know but it's a weird movie but i i was uh never bored um never bored <laughs> <laughs> by this um it is it, it i mean it's kind of a sexy movie i like that um I, I, it's, 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 cop from New <laughs> it's such a weird fucking movie i i mean i liked it i laughed uh i didn't cry uh but uh i was entertained so i i think i'm gonna recommend to all a good night mm-hmm. hey i remember yeah. the title <laughs> i figure if you're gonna recommend it you gotta uh-huh. remember the title but yeah i mean it's i don't know it, uh, I had fun. There's something so. indescribably <clears throat> charming about like, a, about a movie that the writing is like they've never heard people talk. <laughs> yeah. Right. And if and if for nothing else that it is it is kind of taking it is definitely taking bits and pieces from the movies that you know much better than this mm-hmm. one. But they're doing it in such a, a mishmash way. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. it's uh it's a very interesting movie, but I recommend you watch it. Maybe you'll have as much fun as we did. Uh, Ha, Colin, I almost put a bunch of names in there together. <laughs> Colin, what did you think about To All a Good Night? Hey, Kalen. <laughs> hey, Kalen, what did you think? Yeah. Well, I forgot while we were talking about the movie to tell you folks at home about the best scene, my favorite scene in the movie, mm. uh, because I think this holds some kind of record. Maybe there is a scene where the uh, two uh, heroes go venture upstairs no. into a part of the attic that they had. Well, it's not even an attic. It's just, it's the third it's the floor. Upstairs. And she's like, he's like, what's up there? And she's like, I, I have no idea. I've never been up there. It's like three and other so bedrooms. They, they go up there. Yeah. And he's got to check out like whatever's going on. And she jumps. And he's <laughs> like, what? And she's like, it was. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, Colin? It was a breeze. It was a draft. <laughs> The draft jump scare. <laughs> we didn't hear it. 
We didn't see it. We have only her reaction to gauge this whole thing on. I have never seen a movie with a draft jump scare. Yeah. I don't think, I think that this is going to go down in history. Like when we're writing the book, <laughs> right about the American slasher film. Yeah. Uh, this is the movie that contains a, 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 a draft a as a jump, jump scare. scare. That's very I true. don't know if that makes it genius or not. I, I mean, had you fun. can't disprove it. You can't say it didn't happen. <laughs> I had fun watching this movie with you guys. Okay. <laughs> I I don't think I can recommend this to the folks at home because <laughs> I think to the folks at home it would be boring because of scenes like that where you're just like, Oh, we're going upstairs. What do they find up but, there? And then we don't even know. The guy, he goes into a room, and then he comes out, and he's like, okay, it's nothing. No, no, nothing happens up there. <laughs> but nothing happens. In fact, we cut breeze. away and cut back five minutes later, and still nothing has happened. But I ask you, does everything that came before that part make that part interesting? Because you don't know what's going to happen, and when nothing happens. But I thought it felt like I did know it was going to because I've seen enough slasher movies. You know, like where this is going. I'm like, okay, it's probably her, you know, doing it. I suppose it is. I'll agree with you that it is a. It is just a fucking flat out <laughs> weird movie. Weird the movie. tone of it is just weird because it's it's all I think in the dialogue. Yet none of it's in the dialogue. <laughs> You know, because the dialogue is just bizarre. Bizarre. Um, it's like everything's at odds with each other and the things that they're saying. I think, but it's so threadbare that they're just, all they can talk about is like what's actually happening yes. in the scene. They, they have no lives outside no. of this. So it's like, okay, we got to. We got to talk about the stew. Can you pass the stew? The stew's really good. There's that so was much really, stew left. There's so much stew left over. I mean, it's that kind of thing. Yes, they have nothing else to no, think this about. Is a, it's, a bad, it's a bad movie. It's bad, uh, badly put together. It's a good bad movie night movie. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so I don't know. Man, I'm on the fence because I'm like, <laughs> I had fun. While, okay, okay. All right. I'm going to change my, my, my tone here. Wow. Historic. Senator yeah. Colin is <laughs> changing his vote. Tough, right? Yeah. This is a tough one. Would I recommend it to you out there? Our Should listeners. you go see this? Right. Because you're, if you're the type of person, you've seen it all and you're like, I just want something new, right? Mm -hmm. uh, here, there you go. What's okay. old is new again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's old is new again. This is uh, one of those weirdo 80 slasher. Weird. But that that is the appeal of it. I'm just warning you. Yes. Mm -hmm. The appeal of it is just how weird it is <laughs> and how bad it is. Mm -hmm. It's not as bad as uh, Bloodbeat. Blood Beat was yeah. uh, Christmas. That was horrible. That's and the bad. other one, um, oh, man, what was it? The one that was like the fucking ripoff of Halloween that was like. Oh, yeah. The other one I brought. Yeah. <laughs> burnt Offerings? Burnt, offerings, burnt, no, burnt, offerings. No, burnt no. offerings. No, Burnt no. Offerings is the one it's, with Oliver Reed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was just Offerings. Was offerings. Offerings. <laughs> offerings. Okay. That's it. Yes. This was better than those. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely agree. <laughs> so maybe that's, but it's not quite, I enjoyed Don't Open Till Christmas. Like that a was, lot, that a was lot surprising. More. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Even though that's also bad, but that was a better movie than this. So that's where you're at. Is it better than uh, oh, uh, Slumber? If you told me the cop from this Silent movie, Night, Night. if you told me the cop from this mm. movie was the same as the cop from that movie, who was also the killer, yeah, mm. I'd believe you. Okay, <laughs> at this point, so that's where I'm targeting. I'm targeting this review to to you out there who 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 you, you know when we say these movies and you're like, oh, okay, I got you. I, I got exactly where this vibe is. <laughs> uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night is that's the better movie, mm -hmm. I think. Technically, least. yes. Yeah. Um, so anyway, there you go. Uh, sure. You got to <laughs> rush out right now and see this masterpiece. Oh, no sarcasm. Colin, give me your, I forgot the title. It's too all a good night. Yep. There you yes. go. Got it. Tough one to remember. <laughs> Michaela, what'd you think? I mean, this movie is bewildering and yes. incomprehensible, but it, there's something really charming about it. And I think it's how earnest everybody is that's in it. Like these theater kids are going their hardest because they think this is their big shot. And that's what makes it so fun to watch hard. is that they think they're crushing it. And <laughs> <laughs> I love how much they believe in themselves. <laughs> um, there so, were so many high fives between takes. Yes, so let this be aspirational to you. <laughs> um, I think, I think, yeah, it's, it's a good, bad movie. And I, it, yeah, it is. It is low budget, and but it. I was never bored. Like yeah. I was, because yeah. I. It felt like they were speaking a foreign language, and I got one of every ten words of what they were saying. So that kept me engaged, just trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. <laughs> but and there was like laughing when it felt like there shouldn't be laughing, and oh, yeah. it was just it was bizarre. But these are all reasons to watch it. So yeah, I think 
there's not very many good Christmas ones out there. And a lot of them are really cheap and kind of ugly and mean spirited. And this one is not like mean spirited, at least it's cheap, but it's cheap in a charming way, I would say. Um, yeah, dude gets his mouth fingered at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I mean, recommend that. Yeah, I think Silent Night, Deadly Night is like the technically better made movie. Um, but I mean, I love them both. So, yeah. Holly, what do you think? There's room in our hearts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Silent Night, Deadly Night ripped this off. Let's just say that. <laughs> well, every Santa movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, I, I can't even. But you must. I, I can't even. You must. Oh, there's. So, <laughs> when I was reading the interview with David Hess, like <laughs> I was laughing because he's so aware of what this movie is. <laughs> like he's like the interviewer is asking, like, was it was it how how difficult was it to shoot all of the like day for night shots? And he was like, it was very easy because we didn't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> like he knows exactly what this is. You know, I was asking about editing and he was like. Well, there was no editing because we didn't have enough footage. <laughs> so it, if you can find this, I don't even if you can find this interview, it's pretty funny. Um, it's from the blog, like, To All a Good Krug, the David Hess interview. Wow. Krug, two, yeah. Krug, yeah, Krug yeah, sorry, yeah. Krug, uh, from 2004. It's a pretty good interview. It's pretty funny. Um because I think now yeah. there's like a special, isn't there like a, there's, someone put out a Blu-ray with interviews Blu-ray. with the cast and all Yeah, that there's shit. commentary on it. I, I, it looked good. We saw it on yeah, Shutter. Yeah, no, it looks yeah. good because originally when this when this came, obviously it went to straight to VHS and people like couldn't watch it because they couldn't see anything. So um, I believe they them. cleaned it up pretty well. I think considering so are, are you saying that the day for night passed in the earlier VHS <laughs> versions? It's like, Oh, it is night. Yeah. Well, they couldn't see anything. Well, so. that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, for part of this, I couldn't see the fucking pilot. I'm just like, ah. um, any guesses to the uh, budget on this movie? Two bucks. <laughs> 35,000. Yeah. Uh, 50,000. 78. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This movie's ridiculous. Um, Colin, I understand your, your hesitation because I was thinking the same thing when we were watching this. Like I'm having a great time watching this, but if I was watching it by myself, I probably would have shut it off. Yeah. Yeah. I really think so. But there are just some movies that they seem great watching with other people, but by yourself, it just doesn't play. So I I understand why you're on the fence. Um, It's a lot of fun. It's a ridiculous movie. It felt like watching a foreign language movie. Like I really really did, (laughs) but it's completely in English. Like it makes no fucking sense, but it's a fun time. I'm going to say for our audience, because our listeners, they know what we watch. They understand what we watch. If nothing else, watch it before so that you know what we're talking about. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> it's always more fun if you play the game. Mm-hmm. It is more fun if you watch it with people. Mm-hmm. That is the true. biggest caveat there. But I'm going to I'm gonna say just for... <laughs> people with a sense of humor. Let's put yeah, it that way. Go into it knowing that it's goofy. It's ridiculous. And it's it's it's... Yeah, it's weird as fuck, man, but yeah, you should watch it. All right, yeah. well, that that makes uh, To All A Good Night Freak Show <laughs> approved. And sure that, does. That, that means that you have to watch it. Who knew? Contractually obligated. <sighs> I feel guilty about that, but <laughs> here we are. Okay, so uh, having said that, next week we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Michaela. what are we going to watch next week? Uh, we're going to watch another wintertime slasher. We're going to watch Curtains. Curtains. 1983. Curtains. All right. All right. I've heard of this one. It's curtains on the end of the year, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Samantha Egger in that movie? I don't know. Okay. I'll have to do right. research and find out. I have research yeah, I've not, I've not seen this either. So. Oh, we'll okay. Uh, All right. I haven't seen it either. No. I have not seen curtains. Okay. Mm-hmm. I've seen it once and it was a while ago. So mm-hmm. here we go. Curtains, curtains next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. To all a good night.